I dug out the plow because there's no way to get the side-by-side -side back here. The side-by-side -side parked all the way up there. So the snow's been melting. We've got one more day of rain and melt before it really freezes up again. We're going to try to get the driveway plowed with the side-by-side -side a little bit if we can. So the plow is way over there. We had to dig it out. We got it on there, so she has to walk beside it to steady it. And we're going to try to get it up there and, and try to hook it up onto the side-by-side -side and see if we can get any plowing done. We got the slides twisted. What's so what, do we, what do you want to do? I don't know. We got to... All right, we got the plow back here, or up here where we need it to be. I think, I really think that, uh, I don't know, it's pretty, see right where he, the guy, they plowed, it's hard right in these areas. But once you get past that, it's not too bad. I should be able to get side by side off, run it right down here, hook onto it, and then start trying to plow. So we'll see, see how this goes. I don't think I'm gonna do it today. It's in the evening already. We had to make a run to Soldatna and get some supplies and stuff. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow and be warmer. So I'm hoping this will will melt even more, and then maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll be able to come out and try to plow some of this. Uh, we went to go do laundry. We can't get out of the driveway. It drifted shut the other day. trailer melted in the you know, snow as it, we got a couple warm days it melted now it's way too low hooked to the truck and it's froze to the ground and too heavy to pick up so, I'm gonna get the side by side off to get the plow to do this one. yeah because the plow would do this but and you guys I'm sure can't tell how deep it is but it's probably a good three foot on the right hand side of it too deep for the truck to go through without breaking something because all the plastic's brittle and everything
Yeah. That's still blowing though. That's that's an issue. Thanks to Roy for letting us use his shovel. Yeah, our shovels are froze up under the house. You can't get the, too much snow around the house to even get the sides off we put on, so we can't even get to our equipment. thinking about this. I was just thinking about the driveway. This drifting didn't even come into play. Yeah, so with all the wind we were having. Yep. That was just a bit too much to shovel by hand out there. We gave it a try, but it's just too much. We got, got my big jack. I'll see if I can jack the trailer up enough to get it, the truck backed up to it and see if we can get the side-by-side -side off. She's gonna go up and get the key, see if it'll even start because it's pretty cold today. That would be enough. But the last time we took it down there, and again, I don't know how much you guys can tell, but this is this is a bit of a hill. <laughs> so last time we took it down there, we got it stuck and we had to pull it out with the truck. 
it's all ice. I mean, just absolute 100% ice underneath the snow. So, I don't know if he's just going to want to try to take it right here on the top of the thing, maybe. And we'll just um, pick the plow up and bring it up here. I hate to do that because it's kind of heavy, but it'd be better than getting stuck. That's probably what we're going to do. We'll see what he says. We'll see. He wants to get the pins um, to put in the plow, hold it in place. You have this really neat wood. We're going to use it for like an accent wall. And this here thing, I don't know. He thinks he can get it running again, but I'm skeptical. We'll see. A huge relief we did get the side by side out the plows hooked up to it the winch is not frozen anymore fingers crossed hopefully we can get this here oh now it doesn't want to turn ah yeah. <laughs> i mean we can still use it like this but it would be nice if we could get it the uh all froze up the mechanism is yeah because so normally this pin pulls out right here and then you can turn it sideways there we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's frozen. You have to hold up on that pull from the pin. Hold it tight. Alright. There, it's not pop back in. Or you might should have just plowed it forward and put it right over here. Well, I want to plow it out. So what's your, pl your oh.
imagine. I missed it. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yep. I think, yep, I think you did. It's all sitting on there weird. Yep. Son of a gun. Why did you? <laughs> it got this all packed here. Just pop it in. Uh, well, damn it. Well, that freaking sucks. What's the matter with it? It bent the whole plow over. The whole oh, yeah. thing bent. We caught this edge here and it dug in. And uh, so our plow's jumped. Well, I don't know why. It's junk. It just won't plow as good. You should be able to set it down and it'll still plow. Just this will be up higher. Oh, can't believe yep. that. You have to be closer. Careful how close you get to the edge, I guess. Yep, you can see uh, how straight and that thing's all bent over. Dang it. Hopefully we didn't damage anything else. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see we're in twisty bends up there. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Spent all that. Dang it. Nope. Darn it. Drug in. Uh, I tell you, it's always something. You get your lights on. I guess because the plow's up. Why can't you just pull it up further? No, uh, because this whole thing is, I mean, I can pull the thing up. Right, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing is twisted. It's going to dig in on that corner no matter what I do. So it's just going to have to be a little bit deeper on that corner. You I'm can't put it down so far. Turn. I'm trying to turn the blade a little bit. How do you have to pick it up? How do you get it back up? You're, you can't move it because it's stuck in the snow. You're still not gonna be able to move it. Oh, I need you to pull that pin and we'll try to. I gotta try to get the blade going straight with the. Well, I understand, machine. but you're you're fighting against all this snow. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's not going in a hole yeah, for some not, reason. It's not work. It's just too screwed up. There, the plow itself is fine. We're gonna have to get another a mounting bracket. Yeah. Well, you're just gonna have to pick it up higher. Unfortunately, I mean, this is what it is. That was not sponsored. We bought that a couple years, well, a year ago before we moved up here. Long before YouTube was ever a thought for us. soft snow and small driveways it's not I mean it's not meant for what we're using it for so
get on it with something and try to bend it back so that it's a little more usable. See this here? It's all ice underneath. Pretty good. Good enough. It has to be, as, be good enough. Yeah, it's fine. It's not very effective the way it is. No, we'll have to try to figure out some way of bending it back. Yeah, it's just that whole piece has got to be replaced. Yeah. So they make a, a part. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. We'll just have to so this look is it only up. for maintaining your driveway, not for pushing any serious snow. As I told these I things are just they're just cheap. Yeah, it's perfect for you know just light fluffy snow and but there's no reason that it should have been it that bad no because it wasn't that. like that it wasn't that grass no no it wasn't that sucks but we did get the driveway cleared out enough to leave yeah. now we can go do laundry and get some water and times just yep. I mean you guys have seen how much we've used it yep. that first <laughs> video where we plowed you know that a little bit more and then we plowed out around where the house was that was it and yeah. I got two runs and yeah KFI are just not they're not a durable plow there's no reason that no, should have that was that bad that off a hit like that no it wasn't that That's ridiculous yeah well that sucks yeah yeah i mean we got to accomplish what we needed but we don't, we're not gonna, it's, it's really hard to use now yeah so we only have a plow once it's melt enough we only have I a know. plow to fill it all, all it'd be good for at this point is if it drifts i'll be able to work a little bit of that but it is really hard to use like yeah this. yeah you can stand here and see oh i know it is on yeah the front. it's just yeah it's right a mess front. see, how, see yeah. how that thing's off to the side like that yeah i mean it sh this whole black thing should be straight what a mess. Yeah, I just twisted it. Uh, cheap, cheap garbage. Supposed to yeah. be made in the USA. I thought it would be a decent plow. I guess I should have bought a made in China one. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to see if we can find a new mounting bracket for it. I hope we didn't damage anything on the side by side. Doesn't look like Doesn't it. Doesn't look like it. Ruin that piece of junk. Yeah. But I suppose it's better that give than exactly. frame on the side by side. Yep. I'm a toes are froze. Toes are froze. My fingers are froze. I got two pair of pants on. My legs are froze. All right. Ready then? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys have all been to the laundromat and stuff with us on other episodes. So I suppose I'll let you go. I don't think they've been to the laundromat. Oh, that did. was the other laundromat I took them to, wasn't it? I don't even think you took them there. I took them to the RV park laundromat. Uh -huh. Remember? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I suppose we can show them the cheeky moose. The, the cheeky moose in Anchor Point. It's got a little like coffee shop, and they sell sandwiches. And they do stuff. tanning and laundry and showers. That's that's convenient. So we're on anchor point right now, getting ready to pull into the cheeky moose. I can't really see it with the sun. So this is the cheeky moose. Is it? Let's see the 
stone are dirty clothes. You think of that? Clean. And it's got like a timer. Just you put your you know, card. It's a for this place, and just put it in here, and it gives you. I think it's 20 minutes, I believe. All right. Since this isn't an OnlyFans, I'm gonna shut you off right now.